What up, guys? Flow packs, man. A um, couple things I want to talk to you guys about. It's been a while since I made a little video about the Limitless. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, all the flow juice is back in stock. I got like 11 of these containers right here full. So should be enough for a while. Anybody that's run it, or if you know anybody that's run it, you know why it sells out so fast. Had 100 bottles. They sold out in like two and a half weeks. Had to wait to get more. So uh, this stuff is real deal, man. Put it in your bearings. I run it in all my cars. It's, tr it's the truth, man. I'm telling you, it's good. Um, guys, now we're dying to get it back. They bought one bottle and I got it back in stock. Now they're buying three or four bottles. But guys, honestly, this bottle should last you a month at least. If you're going through this in a week, then I don't know. You do what you got to do. But um, the 6S drag packs, 4S drag packs, 8S drag packs. This little hump on the top right here is thermal pad. I decided to try something out. So if you get one that looks like that, that's all that is. You can take it apart if you want. I don't care. It's just thermal padding trying to dissipate some of the heat. Um, so on to the Arma. These bodies are thin right here in this area. So I went out running it and I'm cruising down the road and that's when I didn't have my RX pack in there. My lipo comes undone, it hits a curb, bounces off, hits something else, flips upside down. Um, because I had the front way down on the ground, as soon as it came off that curb, the asphalt was just a little higher. It caught it, flipped upside down, skid on the top for maybe 10 feet max, maybe 8 feet, 7 feet, I don't know. But look at that. It didn't skip for long, guys, I promise you. It's just so thin right there. I don't get it. Anyways, last weekend... I built this thing up, had the Cordova all mounted in there. I flipped it around because I wanted to try it. And I could not get this thing right. I would lift up on the back of it. And both tires would come up at the same time and come down at the same time. I would do it to the front of it. What the hell's going on? One of the tires is higher than the other. So I'm messing with my set screws. And I've never had a problem with this, ever messing with my set screws and I just can't get it whatsoever I mean one set screws all the way down the other ones all the way up and it's just it looks like crap it's not riding right so I get to looking at it and I said what the hell's going on that bar right there I don't know if that was it I had it out I wasn't running it at the time so if you see right here let me show you See how the chassis is off the ground right there? The chassis is warped. Watch what happens when I push this corner. That side comes up. I tweak the chassis from that small hit on the curb. Sorry guys. It tweaked the chassis. So I ordered a new chassis. Good thing they're only like 70 bucks. I went ahead and ordered a new chassis. It'll be here tomorrow. I'll get it going, but it's, I don't know if it's from this brace not being in there. Because then, don't get me wrong, it is tacoed. But as soon as I put the brace in there, it leveled it out. But it's tweaked. These chassis are so weak. I was sitting here the other day without the brace on, just folding it in half. And it was just literally bending in half. They're so weak. We're putting together a carbon fiber one. We're trying to figure out what all this, or what we can do about this hump in the middle and the hump up front. The drive, uh, the rear diff sits on this hump here. The front, the servo sits on it. So what we're thinking is using like a Mark Hor or Alza racing design and put the servo over here. This RX box, guys, is junk. Arma screwed up with this thing. It's three, four millimeter thick. And uh, everybody I talk to loses reception when they put their receiver in there. So, done. Not messing with it no more. What I ended up doing I run uh, external fans on all my stuff, so I just went ahead and cut the side just enough for my lipo to fit in there. There we go. I got a lipo box for it. Plug it into my fan, I'm good to go. So that's what I ended up doing. Everybody I know is putting their RX back there, their receiver back here with the wires coming up, which is a great idea. 
gang of range or putting it on top. These RX boxes are so thick, you just don't get signal. Even if your antenna's coming out of it, it's just bad designing, I think. And then this box right here, you know what, man? Arma, I think they're dumbasses because this is a 14-pound car. 15 pounds the other day. It was 15 pounds when I was going to put it on 8S. 15 pounds, man. What freaking ESC is going to fit in there that's, that'll carry a 15-pound car? It's ridiculous. I don't know why, you know, they're trying to tell people to use a BLX in there. Are they going to replace all these BLXs? A Max 6 will fit. But look at that. It's going to run right into your gears. It makes no sense to me. So they just want people to blow up their BLXs or Mamba Monster 2s. Guys that are running their Mamba Monster 2s and Mamba Monster Xs, go for it. I'm not one of them guys because... I think Castle rates them at like 9 or 10 pounds. 15 pounds? That's a lot, man. That's hard on your ESC. Um, but anyways, chassis, I got a new one coming. It's tweaked, so I'll get that swapped over. I'm going to start running the brakes from now on. I don't know if that's it or not, but we'll see. I got one of the homies came through for me, seen that my body was jacked up, and bought me a body, man. And This dude is... He's a real friend, honestly. He's a good guy. He buys a lot of products from me, and I take care of him on certain things. But he bought me a body, and I thought that was so cool. But uh, this thing will be up and running next week. So anyways, guys, watch that chassis. It'll, it'll bend so easy. And like I said, I don't know if it's the brace, because the brace would have caused it to bend forward or, you know, taco in the middle. It's one side's bent more than the other. And it's not like beat up on that side or nothing. It's just I, I don't get it. I don't know. So, as you can see in the front, here, let me turn this thing around. The wing here, or the front splitter is touching the ground on this side. On this side, I can fit my hand underneath it. That's how tweaked this chassis is. It's sitting flush over here. Over the other side, I can stick my hand underneath it. It's so tweaked, it's not even funny. Let me show you something. This whole side comes up when I push on this other side. So I couldn't figure it out. I was getting frustrated. I was using bigger set screws and uh, it wasn't working. What I did here is I was the first one. I don't care what anybody says. I was the very first guy to take it. Mugen MGT7 and put the XLX sideways. That was my thing. Uh, EMP Performance asked me how I did it. And a month later, he comes out with a mount on how to do it. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. He made it, I didn't, whatever. I had it like that, he made a product, whatever. But Limitless with the XLX put sideways in the front and it fits perfect. Got the flow pack on there. Everything's compact right here. Um, now, as far as the motor going up front, the 4060, I did have one in there and I haven't tested it. So I'm not gonna show anybody nothing until it's been tested. I don't know if, the, if it's gonna sit kind of cockeyed in there and screw up but I was told look you want to know how to do it how about this you take this screw here the front screw you put it towards the back holes on the chassis okay so basically these two right here you're gonna screw in right here you're gonna put the next holes right here you're gonna drill holes in your chassis then the Creighton dog bones will fit inside here you won't have this long dog bone that everybody's having problems with there's a video of some dude uh i don't know his name exact all i know is he was going around asking my homies for gearing because he's got an infraction and he can't get no faster so he was begging some homie homies for gearing but he's got a video where this thing's just swelling it's all over the place you want to shorten it up put a two screws right there put a crate and a uh, dog shaft in there or dog bone then you can run a 4070 up front, guys. 47 up, 4070 up here, still have your two battery trays, and, or the one battery tray. No, sorry. You can have your two battery trays, move it forward, move this out of the way, you can have it. So we already played around with it, and uh, it looks like it's gonna work. All I did, I didn't drill the holes, I just moved these front holes, put it in there, everything was good. Put a crate and dog bone, it worked perfect, so. 
Um, what else was there? Um, yeah, so that's it. I got this thing. It's gonna, it'll be back up next week. And uh, I'm hoping to push some good numbers. The Typhon, I had out last week, and I hit 148 in it. And I'm going for 150, 151 this week. Uh, after the run, I was super, super surprised that my temps were so low for the motor. I was shocked, actually, when I hit that 148. ESC was getting up there in heat. I'll just throw some extra fans on it and send it. Um, I always run two fans. I run the thermal paste. I run the thermal t uh, padding. So um, that ESC that's in there, I haven't touched yet, but I got the stuff right here to do it. As soon as uh, I'll probably do that tonight, actually. I'm going to put some thermal paste and padding in there, and it does help, guys. 20 degrees, 30 degrees instantly, guarantee you. So the Typhon, I'm hoping 150s. Um, there's been a car I've been focusing on a lot, and that's the uh, Slash. Um, I'm looking for for big run, big numbers this next time. I went out this weekend, I did some runs on it, and I'm just getting it dialed in 100% before I open it up. I want this thing to be just one-handed, pull the trigger, and it goes. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, someone asked me if I run gyros. Absolutely not. The only time I've ever ran a gyro when, when, when I was drag racing, and it was on a prep track. A lot of people think prep track is easy, and it's not as easy as you think it is. Um, I used to be able to, in front of my house, I can pull it one-handed. I got videos of it, and the car would go straight as an arrow. I'd go down to the track, and it was all over the place. So prep isn't as easy as everybody thinks it is. But that's the only time I ran gyros. I don't run a gyro in my speed cars. I never have, and I don't think I will. Yes, they're out there, and if you want to use them, go for it. That's your prerogative. Me, I just, I'd rather drive the car. But um, I think that's it. Oh, no, someone asked me what light bulbs are good light bulbs. Um, Turnage Heavy Duty, for the price, you can't go wrong. They are great light bulbs. I've been 150s with them. They're great light bulbs. Roaring Top, great light bulbs. Um, Turnage Panthers. They're, they're good lipos, but I don't like them, and I'll tell you why. Those batteries are good for about 10, maybe 15 runs, then they're toast. Roaring Top are good for about 15, 20 runs, and then they start wearing down. You will notice after 15 runs, you're not gaining them more, it's your lipos. They're, they're great lipos the first couple runs, first 5, 10 runs after that, nothing. Um, Turnage Heavy Duties. They seem to last a lot longer. They just, they keep producing and producing. I've had this 6S one for going on a year now, probably 30 runs on it. And it just keeps pumping out numbers. So, Turnage you Heavy Duty for the price I think is great. Um, Panthers are good if, you want, if you're willing to buy lipos every six months. Uh, the, who else? Dynagy. Dynagy makes a great lipo. They actually make graphenes. They're a little pricey. They make graphenes that are lighter than the Hobby King, and he guarantees lighter or uh, better internal resistance and better everything. So, um, what else is a good lipo out there? You know what? SMC, the purple ones, I've had good luck with the 150C, but they're the same way. Those are good for about seven runs, and then they start falling off. A lot of people ask me all the time, like, bro, you know, when I first got your cap pack, I was gaining, and, you know, and I say, how long have you had those lipos? Oh, about eight months. How many times you charge them? Oh, 20, 25 times, but they still look in good condition, and they're still, all the cells are okay. They wear down. I, I'm telling you, they wear down just like a battery in a car. Um, when your battery starts dying, and you're charging it, and then, or a quad, or ATV, or whatever, you charge it, and then it starts dying again, and you charge it, that battery gets weak after time. And that's the same thing with these lipos, especially these high-performance lipos. Um, but, yeah, those are what I run. XLX, TP Power, Cordova, Steve New, all great motors. Well, there you go, guys. I'll have the new body. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't even know if I'm going to run a new body yet until I get this stupid thing figured out. But it was doing good, and then... Just pure laziness, man. Didn't put that RX pack in there. And uh, that's what happens, you know. That's what happens when you get lazy, man. Sometimes, guys, it's just better not to go running. Um, or if you're in the middle of a run, 
I was talking about this today when I was out there in a video. Mid run, I just got out of it. It was at, it didn't even hit me yet, and it was at 118 miles per hour. So I know it was going to be a killer pass. But it started pulling to the left because it hit a rock, and I just got out of it. Sometimes it's better to get out of it and race another day than to crash and have to build it and spend tons of money. So, guys, God bless you. Have a good night. Um, anybody that's not on Facebook that's straight up on YouTube, if you ever need anything, cap packs, you need the flow juice, whatever, just tips, whatever you need, put in the comments. I'll get back to you. I'll give you my email, whatever. We'll, we'll chat, man. So God bless you guys. Have a good night. Be safe. Have a good week. Watch for this thing next week. And I promise you, I will be putting in good numbers late. I'm out.